Uh, how did your flight go today? Oh, today was absolutely amazing. I was just like, wow. Not only was riding the aircraft so smooth, we had so much fun. Apparently, you can't fly unless you participate. Um, and I had the chance to not only do maneuvers where I experienced Gs, but I also did barrel rolls and some high angle turns and some four point turns, and it was just great. It was a really, really great day. And how does it feel to be a part of the first all female flight since 1963, over 60 years ago? I'm thrilled, I'm honored, I'm excited. Since I started my career, I always dreamed about going to space, but I never thought I would really have the opportunity to go. And today, I'm sitting here telling you that not only did I complete flight training in an L-39 to help expose me to some of the things I will experience on the flight, I also am going to be going with a crew of women who are phenomenal in their own right. I hope that this mission will inspire others to reach higher and to know that their dreams are real and that they matter. I'm someone who never thought that they would become an engineer. I was a high school student that never applied to university because I thought I wouldn't get in. My grades were not that good, spoiler alert. I ended up in community college and I found my way. Eventually, I decided that I needed to learn how to dream. And once I decided to learn how to dream, I decided to follow through on those very same things that I wrote down and I promised myself all those years ago. And so my dreams became going to university, graduating, working, going to work for NASA, and eventually leaving NASA to found not one but two companies, and now I'm headed to space. I want people to understand that while I would love for everybody listening to me to become an aerospace engineer, that's just not real. What I want you to take away from my story is your passion, the things that you love to do. Allow them to guide you. Allow your curiosity to roam free and never allow anyone else to define what success is like for your life. I'm really inspired by all of the people it takes to go to space. We need everybody from lawyers to accountants, I mean the most important person when I was working from my perspective was the budget lady. And I would always make sure to, you know, have gifts and be pleasant and nice. It takes all sorts of careers and interests in order to launch a space mission. And I think that's the same for most fields. You need everybody to do the wild, audacious, crazy things. And so what I'm inspired by is not only to share space with a musician and a journalist and a helicopter pilot, but that we're demonstrating that it takes all kinds of people to do the most amazing things. And so I hope that if you never thought that space was for you, this brings it a little closer to home. Are you excited for launch? Are you nervous? What do you expect? How could you not be excited to go to space? I mean, it's like, oh my gosh, I'm going to space every single day. Space, 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 and whoa, I'm going to space. I cannot, I cannot wait. But I'm also focused. I'm planning on conducting meaningful science. I'm carrying the dreams of students and people around the world I've gathered over the past few years who have written to me, and while they can't go on the mission, their dreams are gonna fly. I'm working with the university to study how plants respond to microgravity. And specifically, we're looking at sequencing six crop plants, which, I mean, that's also exciting because it has implications to food security here on Earth, right? Space for the benefit of Earth. And beyond that, I'm looking forward to the transformative experience of the overview effect. Many people have recorded, they've shared that after they've flown and they've seen Earth from space, that they will forever be changed. And so there are many things that I'm looking forward to for this flight, and I'm excited to be able to share them with you all. What is something that you know now that you wish you knew when you started this thing? I wish I really understood that it's not where you start, it's not what you have, it's how you finish. I spent a lot of time when I was younger telling myself, well, you couldn't do this because you didn't have private tutelage, or you would never be this because you didn't come from this family or that. And the reality of it is that all those things were artificial boundaries I put in my own mind. And once I decided that I was going to define my life and that I was going to do whatever crazy, wild and fun thing that came to my mind, not only did they become real, but I inspired others to do the same. So no matter where you are in life, never count yourself out, always count yourself in.
Are there any experiments that you're excited to perform specifically on this flight? I'm really excited to partner with Winston-Salem, which is an HBCU, or Historically Black College University, and I will be conducting research looking at how plants respond to microgravity. 11 minutes may seem short, but it's a wealth of opportunity to study plants because from the moment that gravity changes, they change on the molecular level. And so we'll be taking a deep dive into how these plants respond, and hopefully we can better understand this so that we can grow plants in inhospitable environments here on Earth. What do you expect the initial emotion upon reaching space feel like? I can, I can see a wow. I mean, this mission isn't just going to space. It is the culmination of my life's work. It is the continuance of a dream that was started by my dad, who actually worked at NASA on high altitude weather balloons and ended up becoming an electrical engineer at 40. Unfortunately, he passed on a couple months ago and he's not gonna be able to see this, but I know that he would have wanted me to not only carry forward my Bahamian heritage, which I was able to do today by flying with Howard Chipman, who's also a Bahamian, but by broadcasting my story, my background, and all the things that I've been through that keeps not only his legacy alive, but it allows me to inspire people to create their own.